Oh well there, I'm AJ Puzzle for it, and welcome to Tangle Deep, which I've I I know so little about. So so incredibly small nothingness mostly. So let's get straight in. Uh, your untold generations. Many my people have lived deep within the earth, surrounded by verdant subterranean forests. Cool. Sparkling waters and crystalline luminance. That's light. Okay. We all have special connection to this world, a bond with nature we call the torch. Touch. The touch. Okay. They have the touch. Some are born with an abundance of touch which fills them with a sense of adventure, an urge to explore the wilds beyond our home. All with the touch inherit the appearance of animals. Ah, I see. Okay. And sometimes when we fully experience the touch, we are drawn to Tangle Deep. An ever-changing labyrinth that leads upwards to a world that no one has ever seen. How do they know that nobody's ever seen it? I have never felt the touch. Unlike many others in my home of Riverstone Camp, yet there is so much I want to learn about Tangle Deep. Today, I have decided I will go there and find my own answers. Begin! Start a regular new game or try a daily weekly challenge. Well, I'm never going to be able to do a weekly challenge, am I? Each challenge has predetermined dungeon layouts, starting job feats, and game modifiers. Hmm. Important, starting a challenge will erase all data. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Including meta progress. Bank items, trees, and pets on this slot will be permanently lost. Okay, let's just start a new game. Select which game mode to play. This cannot be changed once the game has started. Heroic mode. If you reach zero HP, the game ends permanently. Only banked goods and I'm guessing that's that's the standard because it's actually floating over that as if I should do that. So let's go for If you reach zero HP you will return to town. You will lose half of your money. Unspent JP what's JP? An XP progress recommended for roguelike beginners. Well I'm not a beginner at roguelikes, but at the same time I don't like permadeath. I just don't like permadeath. I never have. Because mm. starting at the beginning... I'm pretty sure that you're supposed to play it in permadeath mode, so let's do that. Okay. It goes against my usual feelings towards these things, but I should do it. I should do it. I just should. Okay, Brigand. We might as well start at the beginning, because we're bound to go through them all. So let's start at the beginning. Brigand, a dirty fighter that re relies on subterfuge, high mobility, and striking enemies' weak spots for massive damage. Easy difficulty. Hmm. Okay. Well, if it's easy difficulty, that sounds good. Passive bonuses. Chance to inflict bleed with melee attacks. Bonus stamina, swiftness, strength, guile. Okay, passive bonus two. Your bleed effect lasts two extra turns. So it's turn-based. Interesting. And you can toggle to do poison damage. Toggle to do poison damage? Why wouldn't you just do it? I mean, you know, unless it's... Poison or bleed, that's a, that's another possibility. Okay, passive bonus three. Drop a fire bomb every time you use cloak and dagger of shadow step. I have no idea what that is. Oh, look at all of these skills. We have a lot to learn, a lot to learn indeed. Okay, fair enough, let's just go with that. Yes, I select this job. A random name. Yeah. Mira, it's fine. Okay, oh, what's it doing? Select two feats. These are permanent bonuses. I don't know anything about the game, so I have no idea. Start with extra HP sounds a good idea. And each, a gain more each level? That sounds like a wonderful idea. Yes, let's go with that. That's one. 
Quick step, take an instant one. What? Take an instant one. Oh, square. Helps to continue reading. Move before enemies react. Hmm. Fast learning. Gain extra JP job points. Oh, job points. How fascinating. Used to learn abilities. Monsters are less aggressive towards you? That sounds good. Uh, heal more when you use fl your flasks. Oh, all of these sound good. Find more and better loot. Also good. All food tastes better and is more effective. Good. Find more money. Wonderful. Arr, I want them all. Monsters are less aggressive towards you. That was, that, that was quite tempting. I don't know about this job business though. This job business sounds like it might be important. So I think I'll go with that and probably regret it. No, don't pick for me. Uh, options, difficulty modifiers. No, no. Mm -mm. I don't want it more difficult than permadeath mode. Uh -uh. Right, now loading. Ooh, hello. Use your health flat. Oh, it's gone. Always keep at least one... Ah, uh, oh, bother. They say people like be, me be, be... be. Oh, you kidding me? Oh, it's here. It's okay. <laughs> I thought it had gone forever. They say people like me belong in the wild, so what if I don't play the, the rules? I know right from wrong. I'll go where I want. I always have. Today, I'm going to be get rich. Why would... It looks like you're okay where you are, though. Mm. Hello there. Who are you? How do I talk to you? Ooh. That way, I guess. Tangled Deep has as many tails as le le leaves and branches. Uh, legends stand tall like ancient trees, but they're grounded in winding roots and countless stories. Would you like to make some stories of your own? Hmm. Tell me. Go on, then. Here's one, uh, there, here's one way to make a name for yourself. Try bruised mold infested vermin. I have a challenge for you. Defeat three mold-infested vermin using the power of what physical? You only need to land the finishing blow. So it doesn't matter if I use something else to kill them. With that element, mold-infested vermin can be found in many places such as Kadar Caverns. Hmm. Greedy Simple Codex. I'll take it. Okay. Should I talk to you as well? Who are you? Percy, the healer. Well, I kind of don't need healing because I'm at full health, so... Hmm. Change jobs. Blessing, please. What's a blessing? What sort of blessing do you get here? <sighs> Hello, dear child. Many blessings upon you, you and all the unshelled. Unshelled? Hmm. Blessing, please. Ooh, I have no gold. No. No, no, no. Later, maybe. Forget it. Hi. Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, I don't have... I'm good, thanks. I don't have any money or any of the items yet. Ooh, what's this? Can I just steal this? Aha! Thief! This, this dancing thing doesn't seem to care. It looks like a raccoon. Na Nando. Welcome to Nando's. Does that mean you sell chicken? Hmm. I've got this uh, the finest food and the smoothest moves. Want to buy some some food that is not smooth moves. Okay. Um no, I have no money. Again, no money. Well, I don't think I've got any money anyway. If I have, then I have money, but um, no, I don't think so. I'm thinking we should just get straight in, but uh, yeah. Katie Twinkles. Ah, you've arrived. Best day ever. Wonderful. You and me are going, gonna get 
along so great. We are going to take such good care of each other and you're climbing all the way to the top, the tippy top of Tangle Deep. See my loots, loots, see my loots, swords and boots, we prepared for any route. You can do it. So you're preppy. It's a familiar, familiar tradition. My sister and I just love adventures like you. Adventurers like you. We think you're the coolest and the strongest and the best. We keep our shops chock full of the strange sparklies. Gear we can find and sell it cheap. Power solid for hit for little gold to arm our heroes strong and bold. That's our family motto. Hooray. Okay, bye. I have no idea. I have no money, so none of them are getting any of my money. What's this? Ah, that's just the uh, the sign. Oh, so, so to the right is Tangle Deep, and to down is Riverstone Grove. Monster, coral, and tree grove. Hmm. Why do I care about those? Should I care about those? I should be going to Tangle Deep, right? I mean, that's where it's telling me to go. Ooh, the controls are a little bit uh, interesting. Maybe I should be playing this with a controller. That's possible. Today's the big day. I'm so excited for you. Have you spoken to Erin at the campfire yet? She will give you rumours that will help guide your journey into Tangle Deep. You'll even earn rewards for investigating them. I've heard some rumours myself. Think I could, uh, couldn't quite believe. What rumours have you heard? Everyone knows about the monsters and ruffians hanging out just ahead in the follies. But beyond that, everything is shrouded in mystery. People have brought back powerful ancient gear, and there are stories of ruined old cities, valleys made of fungus, and metal that lives. Hmm. Creepy. Okay. Thanks for your information. If even half of that is true, well, you're in for some adventure, that's for sure. The greatest treasures of all is knowledge. What's up there, what's at the end, is there even an end? There's so much we don't know about where we came from. Your heroism will help us all. I'll do my best. Maybe. I've technically not even tried to hit anything yet, and I have no idea what I'm doing, so this is going to be a wonderful start. Would you like to play the two tutorial floors? Maybe. I'm going to play the tutorial floors, so yeah, we're playing the tutorial floors. Ooh, hello. Hmm. Okay, so... Ah! Tangle Deep is a turn-based, so monsters only move when you do. Take your time planning your next action. Okay. Now, I don't want to close all of the tips. That's a bad idea. Move. Oh, can I shoot diagonally? Oh, I can. Ha 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 ha. I hit you. You have earned JP points to learn a new skill. Click your portrait. I have a portrait. Oh, it's there. Or press J. Once you've learned a skill, you can use or hotkey it from the same screen. Wonderful. I want that, and that, and I want a skill. Oh. Uh, mm. Spend JP to purchase active abilities. These are the tools you use to explore and survive in Tangle Deep. Each job has unique activities abilities. Uh, which you can combine to create a hero that matches your playstyle. Interesting. Support abilities? Support abilities increase your power and utility. They work passively without a need to toggle them on or off. Each job has unique supporting abilities. 
and you can combine abilities from multiple jobs as you progress. Ooh, now then. What am I supposed to do with all this? Uh-oh. What, what did I do? You can add, remove, and swap abilities on your hotbar. No, I can't. I, I literally didn't do anything. Freely while in town or safe areas. Okay, that's good. However, while in dangerous areas of Tangle Deep or any item dream. Item dream? You cannot change your hotbar. Think carefully about which skills work together for mirror and add those to your hotbar before heading into danger. Well, how about I actually learn to do what it told me to do? Yeah, learn abilities. Oh, hello. Uh, ooh. Uh, smoke cloud creates a cloud of smoke that grows to fill entire rooms, decreasing visibility for your enemies. Taking an enemy by surprise grants 15% chance to critical. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. Escape artist. Bounce off an enemy's head to escape danger, stunning them in the process. Stunning enemies sounds like a good idea. Uh, cloak and dagger. Expertly move past an opponent, switching places and bleeding them in the process. Firebomb. Let's go with the one that bounces off the head and stuns them. Great idea. Let's stun people. Always good to be stunning. Now, what are these passive bonuses? Uh, innate abilities. They're just innate abilities. I don't need a nerf. Okay, slot abilities. It's already slotted, isn't it? Slot ability. I'm going to have to look at this. Slot abilities. Escape artist. Done. Done? Maybe. What's in here? Ooh. Stuff. This is all of our weapon stuff, I believe. This is our character stats. Wonderful. I know so little. But it looks really cool. Okay, this is the slot abilities. This is what? Ooh. Cool. And that's just the options, I'm guessing. Okay. Well then. Let us meander our way around here. Water allows you to move. No. Water allows you more easily dodge range attacks. Water allows you to more easily dodge range attacks. Uh, and empowers lightning. Lava hurts you. You can hurt most monsters. Mud can root you in place. Certain terrain may enhance or decrease elemental damage too. Check the ground before you move. Check the ground before you move? How do you check the... That's not how you check the ground. How do you check the ground? I guess you just look at it with your eyes. That's probably it. Oh, look, you can, you can actually look at the aggressive salamander uh, before you get there. Can I... Do anything with the aggressive salamander before I get there? One is bounce off its head. No, I don't need that. Ow! Hey! Think polite thoughts. Ow! What was that? There's a banana there. Oh, I can go diagonally. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. Ooh, what's that? Hang on, wait, what? You can move diagonally by pressing two directions at once. For more precision, hold left shift to restrict your movement to only diagonally. Ah, that's handy. Need to pass time without moving? Press space or click on yourself. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Ooh, dear. Um, shift and over here. Ah, good. Yes, I can do this. Uh, shift and over here. Wonderful. Brilliant. This looks... Aha. Suspicious. That's what it looked like. Okay, awesome. Ooh, staircase. What does this do for us? How do I get up? Does it tell me how to get up? Need to pass time? No, it doesn't tell me how to get up. You just click it. It's fine. You just click it. No problem. All right. Hmm, so, technically I could go like that, 
If I move into a square next to him, he's going to move to me and get a shot, so that's no good. Now then, can we try out one? One! Yes! What the heck? What the heck? Ah! Stunning! Hey! And now I hit you. Uh, no, I need to move over here. Ooh, that was very well done. I actually survived! Yay! Yeah! Okay, I'm learning. Got, uh, you got a power-up. These glowing orbs restore stamina or energy when you step on them. You'll find power-ups at random by def defeating monsters or striking with a melee weapon like a sword or axe. The chance of finding power-ups increases with your Guile stat. And if you have low stamina or energy, but the chance decreases if you the monster is not challenging. Oh, I see. Trivial and worthless monsters probably won't drop them at all. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. Can't have everything. Is this a plant that I can have? Can I have this plant? I cannot have this plant. I look as if I've got more skill. Why do I look as if I've got more skill? How do you know when when you're out of skill points? Where does it tell me my skill points? It just doesn't, does it? Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can have just more than one. Am I done? Have I got everything I can get? Well, I've certainly got two now, so that's handy. But I've also got a little bit less life. Is there, is there a way to get life? That gives me a hundred life, but I don't want to use it just yet. Maybe a little while. Ooh, what's that? A damaging sling. No, a damaged sling. Yeah, not quite as good. It's a good idea to return to town every so often to sell items, stock up on supplies, and check for new rumours. Use your escape portal, P, and your warp back to town after a short delay. You can then take the return portal from town to end up back here. Cool. Okay. No, I'm fine for now. Although, you can use the healer, right? Where does it tell me where my coins are? There's a mini-map! Nice! Oh. Did I miss something? There appears to be something over there. Although that also appears to be a bad guy, so, you know, maybe I can leave that. Hello, fly. Hang on, can I shoot that thing? Oh, I can shoot that thing! Awesome! Uh, hmm. This isn't going to help with hitting it, though, is it? What's that? Iron Claymore! Rarity common. Weapon power 203. That's a lot. Alright, but it's two-handed. Let's swap to that. So I can swap to that any time? That's cool. Okay, and then... Ha! Beat that! You can't. Now you're nearly dead. Oh, it's running away. Hmm. That's very wimpy of you, Fly. Running away like that. What I need you to do is give me life. Like all of the life that you can possibly give me. That would be nice. Oh, wow. What's this? Hmm. It's not going to help me with that. So there's a fountain. What does that do for me? I shoot you. Uh-oh. This is bad. Um. Uh. There? Yes. I shoot you again. Enraged. Okay, let's bounce off its head. And go over there. And then let's strike him down. And then find out what the fountain's about. Filled flask? That doesn't help. I've got five potions now. Didn't I have three before? Awesome. So I've been picking up potions. Despite the fact I didn't realise I was picking up potions. Alright, what else is around? There's a, a, a suspicious looking plant. Can I do anything with this suspicious looking plant? No, I don't think so. Nor can I do anything with this rock. Hmm. Ah, another slime. Well, I can shoot you. Uh, whenever I can. Just a sec. Can I shoot you now? No, I can't shoot you at all. Something's gone wrong here. 
I could shoot it before. Maybe I've run out of shooting power. That's quite possible. Why is it running away? This one's running away too. Small chest. Give me whatever. Uh-oh. Now I'm right next to him. What's that? Throw stone. Wonderful. Bash off his head. Get over here. Good. And strike him down. Uh-oh. Something else is after me as well. Mm. Strike him down again. What's that? He's doing that thing again. Stop it. Right. I'll strike you down as well. Strike you down good. What the heck? Just die, would you? Thank you. Ooh, now I can take my health potion. Yes? When are you going to give me my health? I still only have 94. What? Over five turns? One, two, three, four, five. Wonderful. Full health. Great. So I've only got four of those still. Can I break through those? No, I can't. We're going to successfully make it through the tutorial. This is my hope for the future. Oh, heck. Um, hmm. Throw stones. Toss a magical pebble that always hits. And does very little damage, I'm guessing. Let's just bash him. Bash him. Did I block that? How? Bash him all. Bash. Bash you. And bash you again. There. That'll serve you right for taking me on. Now, what's this? Ah, so that's where I got my health potions from. Got it. I got a few of them now. More stones. Wonderful. What's the point in this? What is the point in that? <laughs> Other than it being nice that there's water around? Okay, so there's more area over there. There's a monster over there. There's a monster down there that I never got. So I should go around there somewhere. Hang on, wait a minute. I've lost myself already. Down. This way. There's got to be something around. I see you, creepy looking rats. Mold infested vermin. Ah, now then. We have heard of you. Mold infested vermin. I have a quest for you. It involves you getting hit. And dying. Level up. You have reached level two. And all your stats have grown. Select one below to give that stat an extra three boost. Mm. Usually I find anything that gives me health. But I don't see anything that gives me health here. Okay, boost melee damage and physical defense. Kind of handy. Boosts CT gain. Eh? Oh, critical hit damage. Um, so... Must be critical hit something. Uh, boost spirit power. Staff damage. I'm not using a staff. Boost elemental defense. Buff duration. Pet health and staff damage. Boosts critical chance. Ah! Parry chance and power up drop rate. That sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah. Although, yeah, I don't know. Should I use that one or that one? Strength boosting melee damage sounds like a good it's, it's just a good plan. I got I I've already got more Kyle than I have anything else. I think I go for that. There we go. We got we got extra strength now. And we're still nowhere near What's that? Experience. Oh, that's my XP. Okay. An extra turn? What's that? Extra chan cha charge generated per turn when you hit 100. You get a free turn where monsters don't move. Awesome. Okay. It's going to take a while though. <laughs> so that was it, wasn't it? That was my extra turn. It didn't take long. It was done in no time at all. He just spat at me, didn't it? Oh, I've gained 40 life. That's really awesome. I want all of the life I can get. That's the way out. Technically, you should always check around the place and get everything you can before you leave. Because otherwise, you're not getting everything before you leave. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the map. 
map. Map is not M, by the way. I just pressed M and it doesn't it doesn't get you there. So there's a monster there and there's a monster there. I should really kill them both. But I haven't got the time. I'm going to have to come back to this in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch the things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you next time. Bye for now.